the question, which browser should you use really? Because we have some of them and um, this list of course is not full. We have like Opera, we have Vivaldi, we have, uh, what was the, the other ones like Maxton and, and some other ones. Uh, Edge is actually not listed in here. I believe Dolphin for mobile devices and, and many, many other ones. So any guys idea, which one would you test? Uh, I would say that would be Google Chrome if we're going by which one to start out with. Okay, why is that? Uh, that would probably be the most, uh, the one that everyone uses, like the kind of basic one. Okay, but what do you think uh, you need to test in the, in like the most popular browser? Oh, most popular. Uh, I mean, I would still say it's Google Chrome for most popular. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, fair enough. Uh, and the answer is uh, not like the most popular or like whatever you like the most. It, it should be the one that your customers use. And in reality, sometimes it's not what you think actually. So, uh, so here's the market share of the browsers uh, right now. Well, maybe it's a bit outdated September 19, but you can see trends here, right? So uh, Chrome browser got like what, around 65, 70% of market, which makes it, this browser is the most popular one. Uh, without any doubt, right? And Firefox, you, you can see it's losing its position and uh, Safari, I think it's growing a little bit, but kind of not too much. IE definitely goes away. Edge becomes a little bit more popular, but still an Opera has, I believe, 2% or something. So yeah, this is how it looks like in general. Um, if, if you um, take to consideration kind of the whole internet but there is a catch here because um, the most popular really doesn't mean anything from my experience there are actually two segments of, of browsers so um, the one that we uh, saw it's really kind of popularity for um, kind of throughout the, the whole world and i would say like like 70 percent of people of the planet earth actually use chrome it became very popular, uh, but there is another world actually, and it's world of corporations, like big, large businesses. Not always Chrome is uh, a browser of their choice. So you should always ask uh, your product owner or your team, like, hey guys, what's the, what's the most popular browser for us? And sometimes they have this email, um, lists that they will say the company will say uh, will send you a list of um, basically of your users uh, browsers popularity so in my previous company for example because i worked for united states federal bureau census um, and it's um, <clears throat> it's a federal uh, organization right it's, it's a government so chrome was actually kind of illegal to use um, for census. So their choice uh, was uh, actually, well, it's actually Edge, but it was Internet Explorer at that moment. And uh, because I worked for a company who does business with uh, in other companies with uh, large businesses mostly, uh, for us, Internet Explorer had around 70% of market share. So despite on the fact that Chrome is so popular, Internet Explorer would be actually the, the browser of our choice, number one browser. And then Chrome, but for example, in census, they use uh, Firefox instead of Chrome because Chrome is, is illegal. They cannot even install it on their computer. So it's banned really. So after um, Internet Explorer, the second browser would be actually Firefox for us because it was for, um, for Federal Bureau.